Smartphone 101. Understand and use smartphone for beginners 6. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google account and how to recover a Gmail address and or password. So why is it good to have a Google account? If you have a Google account and Gmail address, there are many services and features that you can use without registering to the service. For example, when you use YouTube, you can log in to YouTube using your Google account and use all the features that's available without registering to YouTube. There are a few different ways to create a Google account and I'll show you the steps which I think the easiest way to create a Google account from your smartphone. So if you don't have a Google account on your smartphone, you first need to go to App Store or Play Store and download the Google app. So go to App Store, go to search, and type in Google. Tap search, and this is the Google app that you need to download. I think most of the Android smartphones have the Google app installed on the phones, so you probably don't need to download it. So after you download the Google app, tap and open it and when you open it for the first time you will see a window asking if you want to receive real-time updates from google i usually select yes and also allow notification settings as well then on the google window you'll see the login icon at the upper right corner. Tap this icon and it will display Google sign in button. And then tap this blue button and tap continue on the message stating that this Google app wants to use google.com sign in. Then it will take you to the Google website where you can create a new account. So from here, tap create account button shown at the bottom left side of the screen. Then you'll be asked whether you want to create an account for yourself or to manage your business. So I'm going to tap for myself. Then you will see the first page to create a Google account. You need to put name which you want to use for this account. I'm going to use learn as the first name and smartphone as the last name. And tap next. Then you need to put date of birth and gender. Tap next. Then the page where you can pick or create a Gmail address is displayed. You can pick between these two email addresses which Google has automatically generated, or you can create your own Gmail address by selecting the last one on the list. When you select the last one, a window where you can input the email address which you'd like to make. So here I wrote learn.smartphone to make the 
Gmail address as learn.smartphone at gmail.com and tap next. However, because there are so many people creating Google account every day, you might not be able to use the email address which you typed. So as you can see here, if it's not available, then you will get this message stating that that username is already taken. So if you see this message, then try to make up some other name. I usually add numbers after the name I want to use. So I'm going to put 2021 after learn.smartphone to see if that's available. And then I tap next. So this time I didn't get the message stating that the address is taken. So I can see the learn.smartphone2021 at gmail.com is created. And then after the email address is created, it asks you to create a password. The password must be at least eight characters long, including letters and numbers. So type a password that you can remember in here. And if this box show password is checked, then like you can see here, you can see what you are typing. And if you tap this box and uncheck it, then your password will be hidden. But when you create your password, I think it's a good idea to see what you are typing to just make sure that the password is typed correctly. So I'm going to check this show password box and then tap next. And here, you will be asked to add phone number. If you scroll down, it explains how the saved phone number is used. It will be used to reset password, to receive video calls, and etc. When you forget your Gmail password, I think using your phone number is the easiest way to reset the password. So I suggest putting your smartphone number when you create a Google account. And it also explains how the phone number will work. So after you put phone number in this box, scroll down and then tap yes, I'm in button. Then you will receive a text message with a six number code and you type in the code which you've received and tap next. Then you will be asked to review your account information, the name, email address, and phone number for this account. So after you review, just tap next. And it displays the privacy and terms of the Google account. So you read and scroll down, and then you need to tap I agree. If you don't tap I agree button, then you cannot create an account. Then your new Google account is created and the login icon is now changed to L, which is the first letter of the account name, learn smartphone. And if you tap this icon and open it, you will see 
that you are now signed in with the Learn Smartphone Google account. And then if you tap here, you can see more information, the whole name and the email address learn.smartphone2021 at gmail.com. We usually use the autofill feature on our smartphone or a computer, so we often forget the password. And sometimes if we don't use the email address after we've created a Google account, we even forget the email address. So let's learn how to recover Gmail address and password. When you use an app like a YouTube, it often asks you to create an account with it so you can use the features it provides. However, if you have a Google account, then you can just use Gmail to log into the app to use this service. For example, you can log into the YouTube account with your Gmail address and password and use various features that are available in YouTube, such as save a video to watch it later. So after I open the YouTube app, I can log into the YouTube account by tapping this login icon at the upper right corner. So when I tap it, it shows the sign in blue button. So tap this button. And then it displays a message stating that YouTube wants to use google.com to sign in. So tap continue. And in here, um, you need to type in the Gmail address. But what if I cannot remember the Gmail address? Then after it takes you to the Google sign in page, you can just tap this button, forgot email, which is right below where you need to type in the Gmail address. Then it will take you to the page where you need to enter the phone number, the phone number that you use when you create the Google account. So here I'm going to put the phone number and then tap next. And then it asks for first name and last name. So I'm going to type learn smartphone for that Google account name and then tap next. Then it states that Google will send a verification code to the phone number. So just tap send. Then a text message with the six number code delivered to the phone. So I type in the code which I've received in here and then tap next. Then it displays the name and email address of the Google account associated with the phone number. So I can just tap this account, learn smartphone, which I want to use to log into YouTube. Then it asks for password, so I put password in here and tap next. And as you can see here, now I am logged into YouTube with the Learn Smartphone Google account. The YouTube login icon is changed to L, which is the first letter of the account name, Learn Smartphone. And if I tap it and open it, I can see that I'm signed in with the Learn Smartphone Google account with the Gmail address learn.smartphone2021 at gmail.com. Now let me show you what steps to follow if you don't remember the Google password. 
So on the Google sign-in page, you type in the Gmail address and then you type next. Then in the window where you need to put the password, if you don't remember the password, then you need to tap this forgot password button. Then it will take you to the window which it states that Google has sent a notification to the phone which I've used when I created this Google account. But if I no longer use the phone or currently don't have that phone with me, then I can just tap try another way button. Then it takes me to the page where it asks to enter the last password I remember using with this Google account. You can try this way, but I'd rather use my phone number that is stored in the Google account to restore the password. So I just tap try another way. Then it states that Google will send a verification code to the phone number and it asks if I want to receive it by text or by call. So I just tap text. So again, I'll receive a text message with a six number code and I type in the code which I received in here, and then I'll tap next. Then it takes you to the page where you can create a new password. So you need to type in a new password in this box, create, a, create password, and then type it one more time in this box, confirm, and then you can tap save password then now i'm logged in with the learn smartphone google account